I've just begun this amazing wavy series. I hope you enjoy it. Let's watch. Hi everyone. So, I wanted to, I wanted to show you what I bought and I'm only going to demonstrate one of these and so what I did was I didn't realize Lowe's and if you're not in America I'm sorry but Lowe's is like a huge hardware store a do it all do it center and they have a craft section but you can't buy it in the store you have to order it online and they have these amazing kind of wavy boards but as you can see they are made of i don't know plastic or fiberglass so i need to attach them to wood so i bought some wood here is said wood and I have painted the wood white. I'm going to attach, I'm going to, I'm going to demo, I'm going to show you this one because this is my favorite waviest one, but I'm going to do all three and all three will be on my Etsy store. So what I'm going to basically do, let me put these to the side. So these are painted, they don't need to be perfectly painted because um, I am going to paint, I'm going to paint them first and then I will, well first of all I'm going to glue them down, then I'm going to paint them and then I will pour the same resin colours over them in like ocean waves and that will be it so i still need to paint the back i'm going to do that now and then you will follow my journey on this these absolutely fabulous stands came from molly's artistry her etsy store they are literally a game changer you have to get them go to molly's artistry i don't have the link she has the link on her um youtube channel anyway so let me let me get on i'm gonna paint the back and i'm gonna like do my basic kind of guideline of colors that i want to do on this and then I'll resin, and then it will be complete. I will put the hangers on the back, and then it will be for sale. And I will have three of them for sale. Okay. Trying to get this into the picture. It's trial and error. So what I'm gonna do is get this glued down first onto the board and then I'm roughly going to paint this and um, just a very kind of rough way um, you know it's still you know on its board I'm going to do dark blue fading to white when i get to the resin part i am gonna have to be very careful because this is um i don't even know what this is plastic or whatever but obviously i can't use a lot of heat on it but i'm gonna blow waves through it so we shall see so let me get it glued down 
and then we will begin with the painting part. So I've just slapped Mod Podge um, all over this in no particular order. Doesn't matter because it's all going to be underneath. I'm going to lay my lovely, lovely, jubbly waveform on my board. Centre. I've got a pretty good eye for centering for some reason. And just wipe the sides. There we go. I'm going to get some kitchen towel. Wipe the hands free of the glue. Not too bothered if the glue goes on to the board or to the um, panel. And the colours I'm using as a base doesn't really matter. But in case you want to know, I've got um, Liquitex Basic Ultramarine. These are all fluid acrylics. And I'm going to go dark to light. And I'm just going to like, like haphazardly just put them on because I'm going to blend them all together. The magic will happen when the um, resin goes on and I don't think anyone's been using this for quite a while but I'm going to use Resi Blast and Resi Blast creates the most magnificent cells in resin. Can't use it in paint. You can only use it in resin. So I'm just gonna mix, mix some stuff. So I'm gonna have to let this dry. My favorite Arteza Sea Green. which is kind of like, kind of like the Liquitas Basic Bright Aqua Green, but a little bit lighter. And then I have some Artist Loft Pouring Ready White, which I'll put down the bottom. And we're also going to mix some of the Arteza in that too. It will all become clear. And I've got this really soft, lovely brush. So all I'm going to do is brush this all on. And I have some kitchen towel at the ready to just squeeze some off so I don't make it too muddy. I can't wait to do the others. Do this in a whole series. And obviously the reason I did the board because the panels are too floppy. Squeezing the paint off. Resin is my passion. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so gorgeous. Okay, now I have to really squeeze the brush 
because I do want the white, although the resin white will definitely come through, especially when I use the resi blast. So I hope you enjoy this vid. I love these boards. Once the paint is dry, that's when I will um, mask underneath. Yes, yeah, so it's all about blending at this stage. So pretty. Okay. You know, this abstract paintings, you can't really make a mistake. Because you're not literally painting the ocean, you're representing the ocean. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh my God, look at that. Look at this. And I'm gonna use some, um, resin powders which are um, kind of sparkly and it will make this come alive so that's that and we will be back for the next stage okay so i really had to bust my tripod around today and I'm working on some other angles too. So now for the exciting part, I've mixed my resin, which is thrown away KS resin. For the most part, I'm using Naked Fusions um, Lux Mica powders with the exception of the really dark blue because they don't really do a really dark blue. So this is primary elements mixed with their um, multi-surface acrylic paint, mixed with the resin, so that'll do this bit. And then some Naked Fusion, Naked Fusion, Naked Fusion. And then this is a mixture of Artist Loft um, fluid paint and some, what is this? May Spring White Chardonnay. So to the to the white, what I'm going to do, hopefully I won't get any of this on the actual painting. I'm going to use some Resi Blast. I haven't used Resi Blast in forever. And Resi Blast creates cells in resin. So you don't need a lot. I'm just going to use couple of drops. One, two, three. And that will create some really nice kind of cells in the waves. And I think I'm going to put an extra glove on my hand because I'm going to mix it really on the canvas with my hand, here's the thumb, and then, and then blow it out with, I'm going to have to be careful because remember this is, God, I've got two different size gloves I think, come on, get the new glove, oh, see so I've split one, oh, do, right, Let's begin with the dark blue. And I'm gonna mix, mix them together as well. So there's the dark blue. With the lighter blue.
And this all will be topped with a final coat of resin. And some aqua. This is the sea foam. And this is Naked Fusion's ocean colour. So we need lots of that. I'm going to move this actually throughout the whole thing. I'm just going to blend these before I put the Resi Blast colour on. So hopefully this will work out. So I'm just going to spread these around with my hands. See how dark that blue is? Sometimes I just find it's just easier to do it all by hand. And here is the finished result. All three are done. It's going to be sold as a trilogy, ocean trilogy. So this was the one that you saw me doing. Um, I was going to say online, but you know, in the video. And then this one has bigger waves. And this one has even bigger waves. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed the video. And you can message me. Or it will be on my Etsy store. So contact me. Negotiate. Whatever you want to do. And I look forward to hearing from everyone. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.